Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a really unique species to share with you. This is one of six Lepidera species found in North America. This is the Coos tadpole shrimp, scientifically known as Lepidurus cousii. Lepidurus cousii is native to North America, particularly the western United States and parts of Canada. Its range extends from Wyoming to neighboring states such as Montana, Idaho, and Utah. The species may also occur in other alkaline wetlands within its range, including areas like Arizona and likely Colorado. The pools they inhabit are often seasonal, forming after heavy rains or snowmelt. These pools can be found in prairie lands, which are typically seasonal swells in the landscape. Growing the coos tadpole shrimp in captivity can be quite challenging. Depending on their lineage, they may have different adaptations to the conditions of the pools they inhabit. This specific lineage fared pretty well in warmer temperatures, ranging from 64 to 74 degrees Fahrenheit. However, other lineages may require cooler water to trigger hatching and to thrive. They are very similar to your Brancopus species of fairy shrimps when it comes to hatching. They are very slow to hatch and develop. The eggs do not have a shell, but instead are surrounded by a mucilage-like substance. After a few days submerged in cold water, the embryos begin to develop within their membranes. Hatching a few days later in a more developed stage known as metanoply, they're incredibly tiny and not as active as their warmer relatives, triops at this stage. They mature to full size after about a month, though many individuals hatch at different times, resulting in a population at varying stages of development. Like triops, the coos tadpole shrimp can have multiple modes of reproduction, including parthenogenesis. This lineage appears to be gonochoric with distinct male and female individuals. Sexual dimorphism is evident, with males having a rounder, shorter carapace and longer tails. In terms of behavior, these shrimp mostly spend their time sifting through the soil in search of food. They are not as aggressive eaters as triops. They also tend to lay their eggs in clusters, while well, at least in this lineage. Distinct features of the coos tadpole shrimp, besides having three eyes and a broad carapace, includes having 24 to 27 body rings and 33 to 40 pairs of legs. Mature adults have a distinctive feature common to Lepidura species, called a caudulanima. This is the structure between their tail, which is oblong in shape. Another specific feature to the coos tadpole shrimp is the sulcus spines on the carapace. These spines are rounded and separated by at least twice their width, with an occasional small spine separating the larger ones. Well, this is all the information that I have for this short video, but please feel free to watch the remaining clips, and please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content.
Thank you.